Hey guys, welcome back to my pink hair. My name is Ingrid. If you've been to my channel before, you already know how much I love to travel, let alone, you know I miss it so much. Yesterday I went to an Asian supermarket for the first time and I ended up getting exotic fruits, vegetables that I've never tried in my life, flowers, Basically, a bunch of products that are so new to me and they're all plant-based. I was thinking it would be really cool to share with you a grocery show, a, a haul, <laughs> grocery haul, to show you everything that I got, but also give you ideas on how I will prepare it. So, of course, we're going to be cooking, but also testing new flavors. I know all of you are intrigued, so let's start this video. <laughs> I honestly want to have breakfast already. I'm going to start with this. You probably have seen it. It looks like a potato, but it's actually a purple sweet potato. And it got trendy at the beginning of the year. It's called Obe. And this one is very popular in Southeast Asian countries. I was thinking that we can make like an oatmeal, like a purple sweet potato oatmeal. A few weeks ago, I actually got a purple sweet potato and it wasn't purple from the inside. So if this one is not purple, I'm going to be extremely, extremely disappointed. Ooh, look at that. Oh my God, it's purple. Okay, this is amazing. I am not disappointed. <laughs> I'm only going to be using half of it, but I actually want to peel it. So I'm gonna go ahead and steam it. I believe in 10 minutes it should be ready, but um, I'll report on my findings in 10 minutes. <laughs> I believe you can hear the steamer because my oven right now is steaming. While I wait on it to be ready, let's move on, on to this fruit. I've had it before, it's delicious, but I've noticed that not a lot of you have had it. It's called Rambutan. And we actually also have it in El Salvador. It honestly tastes like a grape. Um, I'm sorry, you have to have nails too. There we go. Look at that. It is delicious. Ooh, can't get it out. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you. It has a seed. You can see. It's honestly like a gigantic grape. Mmm, this is so good. It's really sweet. If you've never had them before, give them a try. Honestly, I'm already loving this food haul because I get to try all the food immediately. Who doesn't love that? Um, I got these. These ones are called Juju Bean. Juju Bean. If I'm pronouncing them incorrectly, let me know. <laughs> So basically, I read online that this tastes like uh, dates. However, these are Chinese. Wanna give them a try? You already know I love dates. They're like the sweetest candy. They smell like cranberries to me. Okay. They have vitamin C. Interesting. Okay. See, it looks like a date, honestly. It doesn't taste like a date. It tastes more like cranberries to me. It looks like a date with a cranberry flavor. I also just fixed my top. Um, I can't believe I didn't realize that when I was trying the jujubes. <laughs> I got this one in Bali, so I wanted to feel like I was in an island and that's why I put it on Because I'm not traveling. I'm still at home, but it feels like I am. All right I got this other fruit that I want to be really scared of trying. This one is called Longan Apparently, it's also from the same family of the Rambutan, which I already know I love Rambutan That's why I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try it you probably think I'm crazy because I have a bunch of food allergies, but thankfully no allergies to fruits. So that's why I'm not scared to try fruits, but let me wash it. I 
read online that it is like, ooh, it has like a liquid. I wonder if you can just open it or if you have to, oh yeah. Oh, it looks like a rambutan. With a seed. Mm, I don't like it that much. I read online that because of this is called Chinese eye, because it looks like an eye. Oh, no, I mean dragon eye in China. It's called dragon eye in China because it looks like an eye. There we go. <laughs> Mm. What does it taste like? It tastes like medicine. It tastes like a grape syrup medicine, to be honest. I mean, not bad. Not my favorite. Going back to my sweet potato, it's about to be done. So what I'm going to do right now is that I'm going to prepare the oatmeal. I have quick oats to be honest, the quick. In a minute you have it ready. So I use one cup, I add it here. There we go. And now let's try this one. I haven't had it, I'm excited. You see? Brand new, okay. I shake it, I mean shake it. Now let that song. It looks more watery, like more wash out. Let me see if you can see it. Because I feel like Oatly has more of a thicker. I, I feel like the liquid is more, it's, it's thicker, you know? But then this one was more liquid. <laughs> um, and it's also like more watery. I don't think I'm making sense anymore. Like, let me let me just rephrase that. So basically, Oatly is thicker and also has more of a whitish color. As for this one, it looks more like water with oats. All right, I'm happy to report that in 10 minutes, this was ready. All right, so since this is fully smashed, let me now just add this oatmeal. Have I ever eaten this? No, but I'm excited. All right, so let me add some maple syrup. For aesthetic purposes, I'm actually going to transfer it here. That Obi oatmeal, it's honestly looking so good. I have another fruit that I want to review. This one is a yellow drag fruit. It is not from Southeast Asia. Typically in Southeast Asia, you find the red one that when you open it looks pink and also the white one. And in South America, you actually found the yellow ones. Let's open it. Honestly, um, so I've had it before. I just haven't eaten it out of the fruit. Like I haven't had it this way, you know? Honestly, this is something I've had before. I've shown you in my channel before. I've had kiwi, I know. <laughs> I just think that it's going to make a huge difference on this. You guys, this looks delicious. Oh my goodness, I'm excited. So, yellow dragon fruit, I've never had it before, but I've had the pink pitaya, of course. Um, aren't she? Mm, 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 mm. So dragon fruit, for those who are allergic to kiwi, I'm not sure if they're in the same family, but it literally tastes like kiwi. So good. Since I have kiwi here, let me just compare it. The thing with kiwi is that it's more sour. As for the dragon fruit, it is sweet. It's between... Um, like kiwi and apple i will say all right this i'm excited for because i haven't had purple sweet potato with oatmeal mm, this is good so you have an idea mm. there's one thing about this sweet potato 
is that I feel like it has fiber. Let me research and I'm, I'm going to put it somewhere over here. I think it has a little bit of fiber because I can feel like that, that hairy texture. Mm. But other than that, let me see if I mix it with fruits. It does, I don't get that much. See, you can see right there. I'm like very particular with this. There we go. I mean, that's just me being picky, <laughs> but it tastes good. Mm -mm -mm -mm. With fruit, it makes a difference. <laughs> I cannot taste those fibers. I got more things that I'm not going to review in this video, but let me show you. I got some jackfruit. This was only a dollar and 49 cents. It's honestly the cheapest I've ever found it. I cook a lot with jackfruit because it has a meaty flavor. You can do chicken, you can do beef, you can do pork. As long as you know how to season it correctly, you will get any flavor that you want out of this jackfruit. I'm still struggling with the meat flavor, but I've gotten down the pork and I've also gotten down the chicken. So if you would like me to share those recipes with you, let me know in the comment section below. Other two things that I got in this haul are these mushrooms. I was pretty surprised with the variety of mushrooms these Kmart Supermarket carry. So this one, as you can see, it's a meat flavor. From where? I don't know. Um, I'm gonna probably have it for lunch. And if I get very, I get if I get a very successful recipe, I'll be sharing something with these mushrooms soon. And also, I got these enoki mushrooms from Korea. I feel like this will be so good for a soup, like a rice noodle soup. Since I'm gluten-free, I cannot do the wheat ones. And since I'm egg-free, I also cannot do the egg pasta. So I feel like something with noodles and maybe like a veggie stew, that would be delicious. I also got some vegetables like celery, things that they're very normal to all of us, so I'm not going to show you those. But I ended up getting this. This is a sweet rice flour to make mochis. I'm going to try to make it, and if I get it, I will be sharing a recipe with all of you soon. I also got agar-agar. This one is kind of expensive if you, don't, if you try to get it in, like, health-oriented supermarkets. But also, it's been out for a few months, and I found it in this Asian supermarket for only a dollar. So I think that's pretty cool. And it's crazy because I had this big desire of going to Southeast Asia this year. All of you probably already know. So bringing like fruits like dragon fruit to my home, making some ube oatmeal, you know, feels like in a way that my foodie dreams are coming to like a good place, you know? So it's been a nice haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed to my pink kit and you would like to see more allergen-free and vegan finds, make sure you subscribe. All you need to do is click this red button. That's it. That easy. And hit that bell once so that way you receive notifications every time I upload a video. It is completely free to subscribe. And thank you so much for supporting my journey, for sharing this video with your friends, for sharing my recipes, for attending them. If you enjoy like this veggie haul with some ideas on how you can eat them and also the review of the fruits let me know so that way i know that i can make more of these videos for all of you at home thank you guys for watching um one thing that i forgot to share right now that i went to kmart this was my first time going when you go inside they give you hand sanitizer and they also give you the gloves so that way you are protected and they have like those shields if you want to have one for for, uh, to protect your eyes so in times of this pandemic it's really good to have those options because i feel like no other stores are doing that you know like some health stores they're more mindful they give you a mask if you're if you don't have one others don't let you in if you don't have one so it varies a lot but i feel like this is like really stepping up the game so i really enjoyed it and i am probably going to be going more often so i can taste the new flavors well, thank you guys for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. It was kind of different, but it's been fun to test recipes. And now, if you don't mind, I'm going to continue eating this oatmeal. And I'll see you next Sunday. Well, I'll see you Sunday for a brand new video. Bye, guys. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. <laughs>